What is up, you guys? Marty McFly coming at you, bringing you guys the merch. Today, we're going to talk about something called the Metal Head Box. I know I've talked about this in the past, and a bunch of other video goers and YouTubers have done this before me, but I wanted to talk about it again because I got the new Flash Sale box in the mail, and it's a great package. Uh, I know I said I'd be doing these videos a little bit more often. My apologies for not doing this sooner. It's been a long, long couple of months, especially with COVID. I just finished my 30 days in ICU. Uh, it's definitely where I want to be for the rest of my life. Pulmonary and critical care medicine is a great field and very admirable, and I definitely love it. But it was a long 30 days. Uh, I've finally switched to a different rotation right now. I'm on inpatient medicine and rehab. And I finally figured out I had a couple of seconds to make a new video for you guys. So I wanted to talk about a few things. Right now, I'm drinking a hot cup of joe from my new favorite mug. This is Sam from Trick or Treat. If you have not seen this movie, it's probably one of the best and one of my favorite horror movies, especially in the last 20 years. I picked this up at Spirit Halloween. It's only 10 bucks, and it's like 20 ounces of coffee. It's actually a massive mug, definitely not giving it justice. If you haven't seen that movie, sit down and watch it, especially this holiday season. It's taken from the place of a graphic novel. There's a bunch of side stories that they all piece together with a big twist at the end. Definitely one of my favorite horror movies. The character Sam, the titular character Sam, has been everywhere, splattered across everything, especially around the Halloween season. He's a great, I don't even want to call him, uh, yeah, you'd still have to call him a villain, but, you know, definitely like a great icon in Halloween. So that's what I'll be drinking out of during this video. Uh, what I've been listening to lately, I picked this up the day it came out. I'm sure you've heard about them. These band, this band's been exploding, especially over the last year, year or two. And that is none other than Spirit Box. I'm going to make a separate video about this record because I just want to sit down and talk about it for a little bit. I went to Daddy Cool Records. They actually had one copy left on vinyl and CD. I picked up both. I don't even know how to explain this new record. It's, it's led by a female front lady, front woman, however you want to call it, Courtney LaPlante. If you haven't heard her, she's been on every band's bonus tracks lately. She's been guest singing on a bunch of different bands. Notably for me, especially uh, the last Acacia Strain record, Courtney LaPlante sings and screams on that as well. She's got a gorgeous singing voice as well as a fantastic screaming voice. They were uh, on a bunch of the big tours recently. I know with some of the bigger festival dates they've been headlining. Best way I can explain it, it's like a cross between new metal, hardcore, post-hardcore, and something a little bit of new age in there. You can definitely hear a little bit of electronics, a little bit of synth. You can hear a lot of influences, especially from metal in the last 20 years. You know, even like a little bit of like new metal, a little bit of hardcore, a little bit of under a little bit of immure. You can hear a little bit of everything on this band's work lately. Courtney's singing voice is really, really, it really stands out in the heavy metal scene, especially in some of their more electronic based ballads. I don't want to call it a ballad, but they're just beautiful songs in general, especially Eternal Blue and We Live in a Strange World. If you haven't listened to those and you want those softer songs as well, it's a good list, good record to listen to. I especially liked Eternal Blue itself because you go through a couple really good heavy tracks, you know, just bang your head. And then all of a sudden you get this really beautiful, you know, several minute long song that kind of just puts you in a different place. It definitely reminds me a little bit of like maybe autumn or summer vibes, you know, chilling on the beach and just feeling your feelings, I guess you could say. So enough about that. I'm going to make a separate video about that. I really enjoyed the record so far. There's so much stuff coming out, really. It's a great year for metal. I'm really happy about that. And there's so much to do. I mean, there's the new White Chapel. There's so much to listen to, and I can't even get into talking about that because I want to talk about the, the heavy metal and the metalhead box. So if you're not familiar with the metalhead box, came in a bag this time. It is a subscription service for metalheads like you and me. They usually put in a bunch of goodies every month. Usually there's a signature, there's a pin, there's a patch. Sometimes you get a poster. One time there's a coffee mug. There's a coffee thermos. There's usually a t-shirt if you want the t-shirt. And you can do vinyl, LPs, cassettes. You can do no t-shirt, with t-shirt. You can do whatever you want. So they recently had a flash sale. And the flash sale was actually pretty cool. It's a little bit cheaper. I think it's like 12 bucks plus shipping from Canada, which comes out to like 25. It really wasn't bad, but you get so much for the package. What they did for the flash sales is they take everything that's come out over the last year and they pick a couple different pieces at random to give to you. And I think it was a great package. I'm really excited about it. I'm sorry I opened it before I got on here, but I just couldn't wait anymore. So first thing I'm gonna open them up is something I'm really excited about. I saw this on the box last year and I regretted not getting the box, but I'm so glad I have it now. That's Trey Azagoth from Morbid Angel Signature. I have several of these signatures now, and what I think I'd like to do is maybe do 
a a frame where I just put all of them and hang them in there. Kind of like, you know, almost like these. I got these from Michael's. These are actually very cheap. But, you know, how I did with the Chimera posters over there. Something like that. And put all of these in there. But I was very excited. I mean, it's Morbid Angel. If you know, you know. And chances are you already know. Very excited to have this, though, among the other signatures that I have. And then the next one is a CD, which uh, I got two CDs. One of them is a sampler, and then one of them is a band I've been meaning to check out, and I've been slacking really hard, but I'm so glad I got a copy of it. This is Rise Into Nothing from The Bleeding. So if you're not familiar with The Bleeding, this is, I don't even know what genre you want to put this in. I don't want to call it Black and Thrash, maybe Black and Thrash. You get a little bit of influence there from like the Bay Area scene, but you also have a little bit of like sadist you have a little bit of venom a little you know you have a little bit of everything so i'd say like maybe black and thrash definitely a lot of death metal in there too but the riffs are just kind of like hardcore crossover and thrash and it's just fun it's just a fun record to listen to you could definitely hear the influences of those bands though especially like if you're uh, big into the venom scene um you know bands like that uh, maybe even a little bit of tankard in there too um, overall, just a fun listen. Uh, only seven tracks. Wish it was longer. And I think that's kind of the thing that's been when you get the flash sales. You usually don't get a, uh, that long of a record. When I did the flash sale last year, I got like an EP. It's like five songs. So that's one thing with the flash sale like, that kind of stinks. But I mean, it's the bleeding, so it's it's a fun record to listen to. But I think if I could fix one thing about the flash sales, maybe just put the full lengths in there. Which you know, but you know, there's a there's a sampler in there too. So that's kind of like getting more music too. Um, but for the price, you get so much. And then in this package, I'm not really not complaining. Actually, I'm very excited and very happy about this box because you get so much. And I think to get a new band to listen to, that actually makes up for it because you're only paying like 12, 15 bucks plus shipping and handling. Totally worth getting the flash sale. Um, you know, I'm very excited about this and they'll be sticking in my car for a while. So this is something I'm actually not too familiar with, but this is Cult Never Dies. This looks like kind of like a fanzine. It says, Cult Never Dies, or in the back it says, Cult Nieber Dies, um, Compendium 3. So what they do is they have, it's like a fanzine. They talk about a couple different bands with interviews. So in this, it's Asphyx, Demigod, Enthroned, Ancient, Deicide, and Amorphous. That is a heck of a set list for this magazine. I can't wait to delve into this a little bit more. You know, open this up for you guys, but I mean, Amorphous, as soon as I saw Amorphous, I was stoked. I was like, yep, I'm happy. Amorphous is on there. I want to read more and more and more and more. Let me see if I can pull this up for you guys. Maybe that was ancient. But I mean, overall, it's just, it's just a lot. It's just a blast. I can't wait to sit down and read this. So here's the front cover for Amorphous, full on interview. I can't wait to sit down and actually read this. This is going to be great. So next up for you guys, and this is the label sampler I was talking about. This looks like it says something I can't pronounce, Humanity's Plague. Um, so it looks like label sampler, um, definitely a couple good good tracks. Can't wait to start listening to this, but looks as far as notable bands. We have E-Ray, we have Paimonia, Mortuarial Ashby, Human Serpent, Ancestral Shadows, Spiritwood, Wolves Winter, Velo Miseri, Tolith, Gregaldar. Sogalig, I am so sorry if I mispronounced some of these for you guys, but uh, Versafist, Sorgalig, Idolatry, and Atremors. So this looks like it's Humanity's Plague label sampler. I wish I could show this a little bit better for you guys. Forgive my horrible camera. But like I said, you get, definitely get a lot of tracks, and for the price, you get so much for your money. And I can't wait for the October box. That'll be coming out hopefully soon. I know right now we're just waiting on the September boxes that were pre-ordered. Those usually get starting to deliver at the end of the month. So we won't get the October box until November, basically, is how that works. So the t-shirt itself, very excited. I don't even know which, which band group you want to put this in. But if you know, you know, this is Absu. Fantastic looking shirt. I mean, you could wear this pretty much anywhere. And yeah, it's one of those ones where you're gonna have a hard time reading it, and that's okay. We know, and therefore that's all that matters. So this is a brilliant Absu shirt, nothing on the back. I think for the money, absolutely. You definitely get a lot for your money, especially in this box. It's funny because I was talking to my brother, especially about getting a shirt from Absu. He's like, oh my God. He's like, I can't believe you got that in a box. So yeah, uh, absolutely. Totally worth the money. You definitely get a lot of bang for your buck. So we're down to the last couple of pieces. 
And the patch this time is actually really cool. This is Morgoth. Beautiful black and red, like nice silk and velvet texture to it. Uh, nice sheen, especially for the patch. I don't know what I want to do with all my patches. I feel like I need to do something with them. Uh, I've never done a battle vest. I don't know anything about sewing. I can suture, but I can't sew to save my life. So I'm, uh, if you guys have any ideas for patches and how you want to display them, maybe putting them up in a frame kind of like this with this Chimera poster, you know, maybe I should frame these. Kind of curious on your thoughts on how you should do these. I'm not much of a battle vest guy. I usually just wear a t-shirt. Like this is the late, latest shirt from Fit for a King, American Metal Corps. On the back is uh, basically the American flag. I love shirts like this, but I'm not much of a battle vest guy. But I do notice when you go to a festival and the guy... There's usually a couple of guys that have like amazing looking battle vests. They do such a good job and they put so much work on them. Cheers to you guys, man. You guys definitely earned it. And then last but not least, we have a pin for the box. And that is, I don't know if you guys can see that, it says Rot, R-O-T. This is none other than obituaries. Slowly, we rot. Usually in the Metalhead box, they'll give you like a cheat sheet to tell you where everything comes from. But I feel like we know that picture anywhere. That's got to be none other than slowly re -rot. So that is it for the box, you guys. Uh, overall, great package this year. Thank you so much to the guys and Melissa over at the Metalhead Box for putting this together and keeping all of us uh, satisfied and always wanting more and more and keeping us in the heavy metal scene. Thank you, guys. I hope everyone is doing okay out there. Can't wait to start doing the next review. Hopefully, I'll do the Spirit Box. Um, Eternal Blue next, and then maybe we'll go into talking about a few other things. I still have a couple things I picked from... Um, Record store day that I never got a chance to display and talk about yet, so hopefully I can do those. And then none other than the one I'm most excited about reviewing is the latest record from none other than Times of Grace, Songs of Loss and Separation. If you haven't heard that album yet, it's absolutely beautiful. It's uh, definitely a little bit softer. There's some great songs there. You have like some heavy bangers like Medusa, but then you have some like gorgeous songs like Cold. And it's it's something worth listening to. A lot of influences from the heavy metal, new wave, American heavy metal scene, metalcore, and they have a little bit of country vibes in there too. Overall fantastic, and I can't wait to start talking about that too. If you don't know them, that's the lead vocalist and guitarist from Killswitch Engage. You have Jesse Leese and Adam Duckowitz, who are both in that band, and they started adding more to the band throughout the time. So that's it for me for right now, you guys. I hope everyone else is doing well. Can't wait to see you soon. I want to hear what you guys are into lately. Um, if you want to help out, like, comment, subscribe. Be more than happy to help you guys out. Happy to talk to everyone else in the vinyl community and the record community. All right. Thanks, guys.